there anything better than a crispy roast potato? I am going to step things up a little notch today, doing some fragrant tandoori roast potatoes, some cooling yogurt, some tangy mango chutney in the mix. These are seriously next level spuds. We're going to start with some potatoes for this recipe. I've got some royal reds, and I'm just going to slice these into some chunks. You could cut these into wedges, or I like really random shapes. All right, to get loads of flavour without all the fuss of getting the whole spice rack out, I'm using some Paddock's Tandoori Paste. So this is loaded with about 20 different spices. There's loads of ginger, garlic, all the hard work's been done. So I'm going to pop in a couple of tablespoons of our Tandoori Paste. Some extra virgin olive oil to help get these nice and crispy. And season with some sea salt. Just give this a good mix so the potatoes are all covered in the tandoori paste. All right, they are looking good, smelling good as well. Potatoes and spice are best friends. Potatoes will just take on any flavours that you put with them. I've got a lined flat oven tray here. I'm just going to pop the potatoes in a single layer onto the tray. Spread them out, give them plenty of room to get nice and crunchy in the oven. Simple dimple. These need to go into the oven for around 40, 45 minutes or until they're nice and crispy and fragrant on the outside and nice and fluffy on the inside. The smell of all of the spices is out of this world. They've completely come to life in the oven. Let's have a look. That is what we are after. Beautiful coating, nice and spicy, sizzling away, crunchy, crispy potatoes. Pop these straight onto a serving plate. Some things to complement the spice and the fluffy potatoes. Some yogurt, something cooling. Just going to dollop over some Greek yogurt. For something tangy, I've got some Patek's mango chutney. If you think about this, it's almost like loaded fries, but instead of you know things like cheese or sour cream. We're just adding a little Indian flavour to our loaded potatoes. I've got a shallot which I've just sliced into some thin rings. Just scatter that over. And something fresh. I've got coriander, but mint, chives, even some shallots, green shallots would work just fine. All right, so many flavours and textures going on here. I highly recommend you spice up your next batch of spuds. That is my tandoori roast potatoes with yogurt and mango chutney. This is full on flavour town made so, so simple with a little help from Paddock's.